Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to emit events in your own custom components and then listen to those events in the parent component. So I'm going to go to the command prompt and I'm going to uh, type in ng generate component and I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call this name, name component and just press enter. And I'm going to go to name, go to name.component.html and I'm going to copy over this, this code here in app component.html, paste it here. And I'm just going to add um, a heading here that says, what's your name? And I'm going to add a placeholder to the input. Enter name here. Save that. And yeah, we, we can keep the button the same. And in the component class, name.component.ts, I'm going to create an event emitter. Now, um, let me show you the documentation for parent component listening to child event. So the child component exposes an event emitter property with which it emits events when something happens. The parent binds to that event property and reacts to those events. So we have to create an output property which is of type event emitter, and we have to use the output decoration. So as you can see in this example here, they have an output here, and they've created a new event emitter with the type that will be emit. So we can now create this. Um, so we can do at output, and that will import from Angular Core here. That will import from Angular Core, and in brackets, we can type in, uh, actually, we don't have to type in anything here. We can just leave that empty and then type in the name of the event here. So I'm going to say um, name submit of type event emitter and uh, the type string because, uh, because the type will be the name. So the name is of type string. So and then we can do that. Actually, no, we can do new event emitter of type string. And there we go. We have to actually import event emitter, apparently. Um, all right, yeah, okay, so it's done the wrong import here. So we can import this properly by importing it from Angular Core. And there we go, that's done. So now, um, on uh, this button click, so let's create the on click method here. So on click, it will get um, the name of type string. And we will do name submit dot emit. And we now have to emit the value, which will be the name. There we go. And so that's that component done. Now in the child component, we're going to have to create a, okay, well, let's first delete this. Uh, and let's create the component in the app component. So I'm going to do app dash name. And that's what we use to get the name component. As, as you can see here, the select is app name. So that will then uh, create our component. And uh, we can now um, listen for this event. So the event name is name submit. So if we type in name submit, equals and uh, we can um, type in a method here. So I'm going to type in on name submit. We can actually now uh, pass in the event parameter. And what the event parameter is, is it's the data that's sent with the event. So the event emitter, as you can see here, will emit an event. Uh, with content, with a value. So here we're using string, which is the name. So we are emitting the name uh, with the event, right? So you can think of it as the event data. And Angular uses the dollar sign event parameter to hold this data. So save this, and now I'm gonna go to appcomponent.ts. And now in appcomponent.ts, I'm going to create the method on name submit. And uh, it's going to take in a um, a name, 
which is the event data. Um, actually, we can just use this. And then we can do an alert and we can type in name. So what we've just done here is we've created a new component called name, called name. And uh, we've just uh, put an input and a button which says, what's your name? And you have to enter your name in the input box. And when you click the submit button, it will then execute this code here, which will run the on click method with input.value. So in uh, the name.component.ts, the on click method will emit an event on the name submit event emitter, which we can listen to in the parent component, which is app.component.html by typing in the event name, which is name submit, and then executing the on name submit method and uh, and we are passing in the event data using dollar sign event which we can then grab in the um, component class app.component.ts which we are getting name string so we know that the event data that's being held in the dollar sign event variable is name so we can just type in name string because we know that's what the event data holds so we know that the event data which we are passing in in the template um, using this dollar sign event variable that Angular creates for us uh, to hold our event data, we know that this holds the name because we just created a custom component which emits the name, which is of type string. So we we in the app component.ts, the parent component class, we can just type in name string because we know what data is being sent back. And then we can do alert name here just to show you that it works. So save this now and... Um, go to our app and it says, what's your name? And I'm gonna type in Andy, submit, and we get an alert that says Andy. There we go. So we can type in anything here and we can now get this value back. So yes, that's how event binding works in custom components. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to post them down in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. See you next time.